In this video, I'll be showing you how to install WAMP Server in Joomla. So first, before you install it, you need to download it. So you'll go online to wampserver.com. Oh, make sure it's the English version of the site. I can't read that language. All right, so you'll scroll down and make sure you correct. Uh, make sure you select the correct WAMP server that you need. Uh, your computer is it could either be 64 or 32 bit. The way you figure that out is right clicking on my computer and selecting properties. So I know which one I want. So I'm going to download it, and I've already had I already have it downloaded. So once you download it, double click it and install it. Select next and make sure you read through the agreement and accept. Now this is the default folder that your WAMP will be set to. I would recommend leaving it like this unless you want to put it somewhere specific, maybe an external hard drive or something like that. Select next and go ahead and create icons if you want and install. It shouldn't take too long to install, maybe just 30 seconds or so. Alright, so now that we've finished installing, this box popped up, and you just select Open. This is your SMTP server setting. So what you want to make sure, this is for your email. Make sure you put your email in here, and then your, uh, then your small mail transfer protocol setting, uh, host. So you select that, Launch Server, Finish. Select Yes. So in the bottom right hand corner, you see now a new W there. This is the icon for your WAMP server. Green means that everything is good to go. Yellow means that it's uh, got some problems, and then red is that it's turned offline. So, now that we've downloaded WAMP, we need to download and install Joomla. So you'll go back to your web, to your web browser, type in Joomla 2.5. So you see here, select Joomla 2.5, download Joomla 2.5. So, select Joomla and download it, select the right one, and I've already got a download a copy here. This is what it looks like right after you've downloaded it. You'll need to right click and extract all to a specific location. I've already, and this takes a few minutes, so I've already done it. Um, so I've got mine right here. You open it up and select all of these, right click and copy. So go ahead and open up your C drive. And you see down here at the bottom is WAMP. You'll double click that, double click www, right click, and paste. This should just take a few seconds to paste everything over. Alright, so now that you've copied everything over, go ahead and select Copy and Replace. You're, you're good to start setting up your databases for your website. So go back, close these out, and select the W. And make sure you scroll up and select PHP My Admin. Go ahead and open up that page. Once you have that opened up, you'll see this, this layout like this, this GUI interface. Go over up to the top left and select Databases. Now you'll need to create a database for your website, so call it something like Joomla Database. Create. So now that it's been created, you need to select. You need to create a user. So you go up here and add user. Call it uh, 
Joomla admin. Make sure that you select localhost and password. Make it something really hard that only you could understand or remember. Mine's password. And then add user. You've successfully added a user. All right, so now we're finished with PHP my, my admin for the basics. Okay, so you'll close out, select the W WAMP icon, and select local host. This is the beginning of the installation for Joomla. So, you'll select your language. Next, your pre-installation check. What this is going through is show, and, and this is going through and, and making sure that you have all the correct versions of PHP, XML, database support, and other things like that. And here's your recommended settings. Here I actually have a recommended setting that's on that sh that's recommended to be off. It's just display errors. I have that on just in case anything goes wrong. I can see the error. Go ahead and select next. Read through the public license agreement. That's how fast I read. Make sure that you agree with everything. Select next and then we're good to start. I'm going to go ahead and just create a MySQL database. Hostname, local host. Username, we'll go ahead and keep it root. Database name, now it's Joomla database. I don't I'm not gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and not put a password on here so I don't have to keep typing in stuff. Select next. Now this is your FTP configuration. This is for if you want your site just to be a little more secure. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and skip this, but if you want to, you can go through and select yes for FTP and then put a username and password in a root path. So now we're, now we're down to the main configuration. Site name. I'll call it Joomla Site. My email for, uh, you, you want to you select the email for the person that will be developing the site on a local host. I'll just go ahead and put in my email right here. Admin password, make it something that only you know. Mine is password. So once you've done that, go ahead and select next and we're almost done. So uh, this, this, is, this is a little warning that Joomla, Joomla gives you. It says, please remember to completely remove the installation folder. You won't be able to proceed until you've, you've done that. So let's go ahead and remove the installation folder. Now we're done. I'm going to go ahead and show you what the site would look like if you just put it on, on the, the default site right now. This is what it would look like if you pub, put, put the website like online right now. So obviously it looks bad. So we're going to go to the admin table. So, so this shows you username. You made it admin and then whatever password you selected. Login. Log and this is, the G, this is the GUI interface that Joomla offers you in order to start creating your own website. So if you've gotten to this spot, you are good to go to start creating your own website locally on your computer. Thank you for watching this in this video and I hope it helped help 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 help